Swamp Simon here, Solomon 12 I think. Last couple of Solomons, been a bit boring. He went to Pooh Care. Girl, no good. Next night Pooh Care didn't take a girl. Ended up over in Krabby, Onang. He's walking around quite horny. <laughs> As if he hasn't had enough aerobics this trip. So he drops his bike back at the little hotel. Bit of a rest. Puts his glad rags on, usual. <laughs> and that case is empty, you know. Down the road, he knows where he's going. He's going to that complex on the left, opposite McDonald's, where the bike's from. So it's only a few hundred meters down. Turns in. There is probably four bars on his right, about four on the left. And the last bar on the right seems to have the tables at the end. Maybe there's ten bars. He thinks, right, well, the only way of doing this is to go bar hopping on all of them. Or just ch -ch -ch -ch. first bar on the right, four or five girls, very chatty. As soon as he walks into that, let's call it an alleyway, uh, all the girls at all the bars are shouting at him because there's not too many customers there. But he thinks, no, into the first one. Has a beer, great laugh with the girls, lovely. While he's sat there, he's he, he's looking at the other bars, he's trying to spot that girl. Does he want a beautiful girl? Does he want not so beautiful? What's he want? There's no, there doesn't seem to be any lady boys there. That's good. And he, he leaning, leaning back on his chair and he's looking, and the last bar on the right at the bottom with the extra tables seems to have quite a few girls. And he can just keeps catching a glimpse of this girl, Thai girl, battery, yeah, cut it out, edit it, nah, leave it, yeah, cool. he's leaning back on his chair, he looks down, and he can see a, a Thai girl with blonde hair, I mean, what is it with Thai girl, she's brown skin, normally jet black hair, dark eyes, but blonde, it wasn't highlighted, it was all blonde, so she'd done a lot of work on her hair to get it blonde, or it's a wig, Anyway, he kept leaning, but he kept, he just keeps seeing this girl in the distance and he thinks, right, finishes that beer, thanks. Forget the other bars, he's straight down to the end. Last bar on the right, and yeah, there's tables at the end and there's about five, six girls in there. But this one with a blonde, she's young. She sat next to another girl, very similar looking girl. And he went, right, sits straight down at their table, orders a beer, starts chatting to these two girls. They're sisters. <laughs> the blonde is the young one. She's only a, maybe 20, maybe 21. The older sister, she's about 30. Pretty. Um, but this blonde is just fascinated. Blonde hair. Maybe he never had aerobics with a blonde haired tiger. And he's horny. And he gets his beer, chatting to them. And he's straight out. How much? What? What's the prices in Onang? What's the score? Five hundred baht. Bar fine. Fifteen hundred baht. Short time. Two thousand long time. He thinks that's better. Okay, I can live with that. But yeah, he says straight away to this blonde girl, "Pay bar." And she's like, "Oh, okay." Doesn't speak much English. And he thinks, well, "To hell with it." It's early. It's only about seven, eight in the evening. Grabs this girl. Pays the bar. He's only got about 500 metres to the hotel. He's just itching. He's just, you know, needs some, needs a massage. Back to the hotel. Really excited, blonde. Gets her in the hotel. Rubbish. Absolutely terrible. Oh no, it was horrific. Oh. I'm not going into detail, but lifeless, blonde, young, blonde hair. What a disappointment. He was gutted. He's like, what? And he's trying his hardest to sort of bring life into this girl. It was a long hour. And he's like, forget it. Shower, clothes. Back to the bar. He goes back with her. Wasn't going to complain. He just... Walks back to the bar with her. He'd give her his money on the way down. He's like, Phew. Then he made a mistake that so many people make. 
but he was just in that mood and horny. He walked straight back to that bar. Girls all happy. He goes straight up to the sister and went, pay bar. You don't do that. You It just causes problems and it's like, and she's sort of shocked and like, what? And it's, you know, a girl would lose face in the bar. If you took a girl back, whether you complained to get your money back, or even if you just swap girls, Solomon just straight back to the sister. He thought, she's older, she's got to be. And he goes, pay bar. She eventually agreed. She didn't want to, but she did. He was quite insistent. But there's other bars he could have just gone next to him. But no, for some reason, in his head, he wants that sister. And he pays bar. Back. Off he goes to the hotel. Luckily, thankfully, once she'd got over the, sister, the shock of, you know, <laughs> taking the sister and now her, he had a very nice short time, two or three hours, good aerobics, good session. She was a good teacher. He was very happy. She was happy. Paid her, sent her on her way. But it was only about 11 o'clock at night. Maybe coming up for midnight. What? But he was still, he was still feeling that he needed more, but not with her. He th He's just going into this weird, it's, it was not pills or anything, he's just part of his life, I don't know what it is. But he wanted to go out again, so he did, he went out. But this time he jumped on the motorbike, he couldn't be bothered to walk. He thought, I'm not going back to that road, I'm going down around the corner where the, all that maybe action is. On the bike, down the road, along the front, parks the bike center point or whatever it's some shops and some stairs some bars upstairs walks in loads of beer bars downstairs little beer bars pool tables it's midnight you know onang's only small but in he goes and there's only two or three girls in each bar but okay into the first bar beer girl pool there's pool chatting but again, the same again, corner of his eye, bar next to him, he sees this girl. She's special. There's something about her. She had, she'd had her hair done so they crimped it, it's all frizzy. Really pretty, about 30 years old, sat at the bar. No other girls in that bar apart from one bar in the bar. And she just kept catching his eye. Hmm, special. We've heard that before, haven't we? It's gone midnight. Finished playing pool. Pays his drink. Walks into that bar next to it. And there's a pool table. But goes up to the bar, sits at the bar. Close to that girl. Orders a beer. And let's, let's say her name is Ning, N-I-N-G, Ning. And he's just intrigued. She doesn't say a lot, but she keeps looking, looks at him. And they start speaking a bit. She's got a nice tone of voice. She sat at the bar, so he can't work out, you know, what her figure's like and things. But she's got a bit of a cheeky grin, and he's already had quite a few beers. Anyway, they just chat a little bit. Do you want to play pool? No, not interested. And he's thinking, hmm. And he asks her prices and she's like, no, no prices in this bar where uh, no girls here. And he goes, are you not for grabs? He was sort of asking the questions and it was as if she wasn't up for grabs. And he said, That's strange. Intrigued different anyway he's like keeps pushing a bit pushing a bit and she's like ning said no you know maybe you can buy me some food tomorrow lunch have lunch um we talk hang on a minute i'm in a bar 
I'm in the bar area. There's a girl. She's not available. She's talking about lunch. This is it's not the normal. And he thinks, oh, okay then, all right then. So he's like, he says to her, he's staying up the road there, and she sort of said, 12 o'clock next day, by McDonald's. Think, oh, okay. Oh, right, strange. Anyway, he comes out of the bar, pays that, and he's right. Walks around the corner, and there's more bars. Some girls, and he thinks, mm. <laughs> yep, yeah. into that bar. Drink. Very thin girl. Cheeky. Really giving him some grief. Very cheeky. And he, yeah, he's still got something in his system. And he's like, pay bar, 500 baht. Grabs this really thin girl. Out they go. He's not drunk. Bike's outside. Onto the bike. Up to the hotel. This girl's amazing. Another one. Skinny. Athletic. Cheeky. Rude. She was... Yeah. Lots of things that a lot of the other girls don't get involved with aerobics. Several trips to the shower. Very interesting. Very different. Again, Onang's turning out to be really good. But he's he's already been in two bar areas, there's only one more little bit. And he's met another girl that wouldn't even go with him. What's that all about? Anyway, great night had by all. Morning, off she goes, paid. Spent a load of money in that 24 hours. Woo. Remember, sister with blonde hair. <sighs> blonde hair. There's There's a red flag for you. Oh, lots of money can have can afford to have the blonde hair done. And yeah, next morning, remember there's the hotel girl. This girl kicks her out, off she goes. And he pokes his head out of the door. Ah, oh, no, and the girl in the restaurant spotted this girl going. He's like, that's not good. That is not going to work out, is it, now? Anyway, put some shorts and a t-shirt on. Walks across to the breakfast. That breakfast included as well for that thousand bar basic breakfast but yeah he has breakfast coffees another coffee starts chatting to this girl and she's like quite off with him like you know yeah if you hadn't taken a girl then maybe we could talk but you took a, you know at least one girl that she saw so he shot himself in the foot there she's like nah oh well has breakfast has a swim chill in his mind is, what's going to happen? Where can you go in Onang on a date? Why would you date a bar girl? Okay, well, yeah, I suppose it's romantic. Ning. Just for lunch, he thinks, right. Out he goes. He's only 100 metres, cut 100 metres to McDonald's, walks down. There she is. At the front. And he's like, okay, yeah, well, what do you want to do? He said, let's go for... Um, right, I'll show you another beach. And he's like, mm, I'll go for a ride. And he's like, okay, I'll go back and get my bike. She said, no, no, I've got a bike. Looks over, and there's a, <laughs> I think it was a, a Yamaha R1, 1000 cc sports bike with a little seat on the back. She's got a this bike a thousand cc Yamaha R1 Thai girl Ning big bike anyway this is the first time he's seen her which she's not sat down she's got a lovely figure very nice shorts nice top she's got trainers on with little socks um, there's two helmets on the bike and he's like well I love bikes and ride bikes and he's like, I not ride an R1. Like, no, I ride. Like, what? He's like, I don't go on the back of bikes. Don't do but No, it would be all right. We only yeah. up the road. She talks quite good English. It's not far. We we'll go slow. And he's reluctant. He's like, oh my god, you get on the bike that a Thai girl's riding. Ooh. But anyway, you know, okay. Well, Putting his life in her hands. Jumps on the bike, little plastic, these plastic helmets. 
Fair enough, he's, he's perched right up behind her, puts his arms around her. There's no grab rails on that bike. A bit mod, she's changed a few things on. She owns that bike. It's not rented, she actually owns it. She's got mods and things on it. Oh, okay. Anyway, jumps on the bike. And she goes off reasonably slow, not too bad. She knows what she's doing with the bike. And he loves bikes, loves bikes. Very impressed. He got the road, turn, I think it's right. And a few miles down the road, there's another beach that uh, she didn't know about. And they stop down there, there's a cafe on the beach, like a little bar cafe. And they go there, sit next to the beach. It's really romantic. It's lunchtime. Let's get some food. They've got Western food, Thai food, everything. So, fantastic. Order some Thai food for the pair of them. Beers. And he spends the next couple of hours. They start talking and she starts talking, opening up to him. She's lovely. She's quite special. Something different. Has a bike. Turns out she had a foreign husband that had um, was no longer with us. Um, didn't have lots of money, but he'd left her a bit of money, enough for a bike, and uh, she worked in the bar part time. Didn't really go with customers. Just got lady drinks and played pool and. Just enough to pay for her room she was staying at. She did have some money. She mentioned that her family, I think she only had a mum, back in uh, a town. She managed to upgrade the house a little bit, but it's still a tight style house. But enough money for the, that and the bike and stuff. So Solomon was intrigued. You know, this girl had a bit of money. She wasn't talking about charging him for this lunch and things. She loves big bikes. Hmm, I started something special about this girl. Remember, he was on this holiday for hedonistic holiday. And here he is dating a girl with a motorbike in Krabi Onang at lunchtime. Different. Hmm. Anyway. Should I do longer videos? <sighs> Maybe. See you next one.